this video, we're going to take a look at the steps necessary to create a sheet list and begin creating the sheets that we'll need for our presentation drawings so that we can drop our views on sheets in our project. There are many different ways to create sheets here in the Revit project environment, but the route we're going to take, we're going to come over here to our project browser, come down to our sheets category, I'm going to highlight sheets and I'm going to right click. And when I click on sheets, I can click to add new sheet from here. And you'll see as well, I have the view tab currently highlighted. You'll see I can actually click to add new sheets from my sheet composition panel as well. We're going to start with the sheet list though, which is actually a schedule. So if I click and highlight my schedules and right click, I'll come down to new sheet list. You see it's going to bring up our sheet list properties menu. For our early on schematic or conceptual presentation set, we're going to simplify the list a little bit. We're going to use our sheet number. So I'm going to click this field and click the add button. We're going to stick with our sheet name. We'll add that. The last field I'm going to add is our sheet issue date. For this schedule, we do not need to add any grand totals. So just this information is sufficient. I'm going to click OK to go ahead and create my sheet list. You'll see that opens up this sheet list schedule and all the fields are blank by default. We have created what we now have. So I'm going to begin to create the new sheets. I'm going to add rows. The first row I'm going to add is sheet A101. Revit gives it A101. We're going to click and change this to A1. And I'm going to type in here, this is going to be our presentation plan. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to come out back up to new row. You see Revit now follows the sheet numbering that I've given it to so our next sheet A2. I'm going to type in presentation section. I'm going to add another row for our presentation axons. Presentation perspectives. And what we're doing right now is setting up placeholder sheets. So I'm going to expand this so that you can read the entire sheet name for each one of the categories that I've created at this point. But now we want to move ahead and create the sheets from the sheet list. So now that we have populated our sheet list schedule, you'll see up here, new sheet. I'm going to create that from our create panel. And you'll see I can now come down and I can create these one at a time and click OK and come back and forth. But I'm going to just highlight while we're here all four of the sheets. I know that we're going to have at a minimum plan, section, elevations, and perspectives. And I'm going to click OK. If there were other size sheets available in the template that we had, then we would be able to check in a different size. But we're going to have to go with the 30 by 42 inch sheet for all of these presentation drawings. So let's just click OK. At this point, you'll now see that if I come down on my project tree to my sheets category and click on my plus sign, it'll expand where I can see all four of these sheets are now created. And if I zoom into my title block a little bit here in the view, you'll see that Revit has actually gone ahead and filled in the information that we typed in in that schedule list. So the sheet name and number are already here. I could double click on my author and change that to myself or the person who's drawing it. I could double click on the checker and change that as well. I'm gonna leave that alone though. And so we have a title block at this point. This goes through all of the steps that you'll need 
to create your sheet list. We can create sheets straight from here. However, using the sheet list allows us to better organize ourselves in the pre-planning of the sheets. So I'm going to click back on this sheet list and I can continue to go back, to go back and forth. Once I click inside of this sheet list schedule, you'll see the menu that we use to add rows or to create sheets becomes available again. I hope this video has been helpful.